Tickets for this one sold out in a matter of seconds, some for as much as a million dollars. There's a massive interest in Formula One in the United States, so it's no surprise we have a third race in America. Welcome to the Las Vegas Grand Prix. 17 corners, three straights, two DRS zones, and the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas as we race around the 3.8 miles of Sin City. The strip has been taken over to become a straight tonight, commanding top speeds of around 212 miles an hour. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Russell, Sainz, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Gasly, Bottas, Norris, Stroll, Albon, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Joe, Sonoda, Sargent, Oscar Piastri, and Nick De Vries. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. Here we go then, the formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? We'll soon find out. So as all the cars take their positions on the grid, the teams will be hoping their strategies pay off for them in today's race. The question I'm asking is which teams have got it right, which ones have got it horribly wrong?
issues with tyre wear for now. Keep taking care of it.
Verstappen ahead. They're on fresh mediums. OK, they've got four laps on their tyres. OK, we think they've got two stops remaining. Two stops remaining. Your last lap time was a 1 minute 38.7. Come on, mate, we're dropping back by a second a lap. Perez is behind you. Less than a second separates you. They're on fresh mediums. OK, they've got four laps on their tyres. OK, we think they've got at least three more stops. Time last lap was a 1.38.9. Stappen's behind. Less than a second separates you. They're on old mediums. Your pit window is going to open in three laps time. Pit window opens in three laps. 43 laps to go. OK, so we're leading our teammate by 1.5 seconds.
That's Hamilton behind. Okay, the gap is less than a second. Okay, they're on old stop. Okay, their tyres are seven laps old. Okay, we think they've got at least three more stops. Time last lap was a one minute 40.0. Approaching the pit window, and you're going to be on medium. separates you. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are nine laps old. OK, we think they've got two stops remaining. Two stops remaining. And the time last lap was a 138.6. Right, you're falling back by one tenth a lap.
and away we go, and that was a very nice stop. No problems, very smooth for Leclerc. behind, they're on old mediums. Our gap to first place is 20.8 seconds. Pit window opens in 12 laps time, 12 laps. All right, mate, that's 39 laps to go. Flag, red flag. Keep the delta positive and let's have you straight to the pit lane, please. No! No! No!
seven, seventh place. Alonso's ahead of you. Okay, the gap is less than a second. They're on fresh softs. Gasly behind. Okay, the gap is less than a second. They're on fresh softs. Okay, so gap to the leader is 3.0 seconds. You've got 18 laps until your pit window opens. 34 laps to go.
OK, Russell's ahead. OK, gaps in the car ahead is 1.0 seconds. They're on fresh stops. We think they've got one more stop. The last lap time was a 1.37.8. that we're trading the car ahead by 6.0 seconds. OK, they're on old stops. OK, their tyres are seven laps old. We think they've got one more stop. Time last lap was a 1 minute 37.9. You're closing by four tenths a lap. Keep it going.
place. We're in second place. It's Verstappen ahead. OK, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 6.3 seconds. OK, they're on old softs. OK, Russell's behind you now. OK, the gap behind is 1.1 seconds. OK, they're on old softs. We've got 11 laps until your pit window opens. 27 laps to go. to your teammate behind is 1.8 seconds. They've done 10 laps on those tyres. We think they've got one more stop. And the time last lap was a 1.38.6. All right, at the moment, you're losing three tenths a lap. Come on, dig in. VSC deployed. The virtual safety car has been deployed. We need to keep a positive delta here. Slow down and maintain a positive delta.
Right, the virtual safety car has just been deployed due to a build-up of stuck cars on the track. Watch your pace. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until we get the green flags. VSC ending. Wait for the green. seconds a lap to you. Good job. And that's Carlos behind. Okay, so the gap to the car behind is 3.0 seconds. They're on old mediums. We think they've got one more stop. The last lap time was a 1 minute 48.9. Okay, push, push. Gap to the car behind. 3.0 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tyres are 13 laps old. We think they've got one more stop. Time last lap was a 138.9. Alright, at the moment we're losing three tenths a lap. Come on, dig in.
No need to worry about the tyre condition for now, everything's looking good. Car behind is Carlos. Okay, car behind trailing us for 0.3 seconds. They're on old mediums. Okay, they've done 15 laps on those tyres. We think they've got one more stop. And the time last lap was a 1 minute 39.5. mediums. Your pit window is going to open in three laps time. Pit window opens in three laps. 19 laps to go. Understood. Stopping this lap. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 5.9 seconds. Carlos is in the pits. is in for his stop now.
okay, we can take you this lap. Problems really smooth. Ferrari, no doubt, very happy with that stop. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. Let's go. All right, 16 laps to go. have the data for that request. behind is 1.6 seconds. Okay, Russell's ahead. Okay, gap to the car ahead is 1.4 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Okay, their tyres are seven laps old. Your last lap time was a 137.8.
Nice move. Keep going. Okay, here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by. 3.4 seconds. Perez ahead of you. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 3.4 seconds. Okay, they're on old softs. Their tyres are nine laps old. Time last lap was a 1 minute 38.0. This is brilliant. You're taking two and a half seconds out of them each lap. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, 1.7 seconds. Okay, they're on old softs. Russell behind, we're leading the car behind by 1.5 seconds. They're on old mediums. Our gap to first place is 15.9 seconds. Look after these tyres now, we want to finish the race on this compound. Okay, 12 laps to go. front is 13.8 seconds. They're on old mediums. Okay, they've done 10 laps on those tyres. And the time last lap was a 137.6. You're gaining by two seconds a lap. Amazing.
second place. The Staffens ahead of you. Okay, gap ahead is 12.8 seconds. They're on old mediums. Perez is behind you. And the gap behind us is 2.4 seconds. Okay, they're on old softs. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Okay, we're into the last 10 laps now. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 7.1 seconds. Their tyres are 12 laps old. Your last lap time was a 1 minute 37.8. Okay, so the time last lap was a Their tyres are 13 laps old. The time last lap was at 1 minute 38.0.
gap and ahead. OK, here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by. 8.6 seconds. They're on old mediums. And the time last lap was a 1.38.2. 1.2 seconds advantage per lap. Keep going. seconds. They're on old mediums. OK, the gap behind is 9.1 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. All right, six laps to go now. condition still looking good. Tires are 16 laps old. Your last lap time was a 1 minute 38.3. And you're closing by 4 tenths a lap. Keep it going. Five laps of fuel remaining. Ahead of you, and gap to the car in front is 
1.4 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are 17 laps old. Time last lap was a 138.4. OK, so you're gaining by 8 tenths, 8 tenths. Carlos behind. Our gap behind is 11.4 seconds. They're on old mediums. OK, they've done 15 laps on those tyres, and the time last lap was a 1 minute 38.6. No tyre concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. OK, we've got four laps of fuel remaining. Second place, we're in second place. It's Verstappen ahead. OK, gap ahead is 5.3 seconds. They're on old mediums. Car behind is Carlos. OK, so the gap to the car behind is 12.3 seconds. They're on old mediums. Look after these tyres now and you want to finish the race on this compound. Three laps left. Next time by will be your final lap. ahead of you. Our gap to the car in front is 4.7 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are 19 laps old. Your last lap time was a 138.4. OK, so you're gaining by 8 tenths. 8 tenths. OK, you've just started the final lap of the race. Final lap. Gap to your teammate behind is 13.3 seconds. Oh, 
motorboat. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everybody at the team. So let's review the updated driver standings. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. Let's move on to the constructors. And it's another title in the bag for Red Bull after a long and hard-fought season. They've built an astonishing car this year, and the glory they'll be taking back to Milton Keynes is fully deserved. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again as we continue to bring you all the excitement of Formula One.